I think we can agree that golf is tough, but here are 10 reasons why you may have a tough time getting better at this game, and I'm sure most of us, myself included, can relate to this list. Let me know what you think about this list and if I missed anything that you place on your top 10, but let's get going to find out my top 10 reasons you may suck at golf. Your clubs have a better relationship with dust than with golf balls and you treat the golf course like a seasonal restaurant that's only open when it suits your taste. Treating golf like a casual fling rather than a committed relationship won't lead to improvement. If you only pick up your clubs when the weather is perfect or when your favorite TV show is on break, don't expect your game to magically transform into a low round masterpiece. Instead, treat golf as a long term relationship, create a consistent practice schedule, join a club or play regularly with friends to stay engaged with the game. You continue to use the same swing that's been sending your golf balls into the woods for years, enough so that your nickname is Sasquatch, convinced that persistence will eventually turn your shots into guided missiles. Refusing to adapt and learn from your mistakes is like trying to build a sandcastle while the tide is coming in, it is a losing battle. If you keep making the same errors without seeking help, your golf game will remain stuck in a never ending loop of frustration, kind of like the Twilight series. Instead, be open to learning and seek help when needed. Consider taking lessons from a professional instructor who can identify and correct recurring mistakes. And big importance here, embrace change as a path to improvement. After a few lessons, you stomp off the green in frustration, believing that golf lessons are more like instant noodles than a gourmet meal. If you expect your golf game to resemble a fairy tale transformation overnight, you're in for a rude awakening. Golf improvement is more like slow cooking a stew than microwaving popcorn. It takes time, effort, and a whole lot of patience. Instead of getting impatient, understand that improvement does take time. Set realistic short-term goals and celebrate small victories along the way. Patience and perseverance will pay off in the end. You strut onto the tee box with the swagger of a superhero only to slice your first shot into the neighboring zip code into somebody's pool, leaving your ego deflated like a punctured beach ball. Overestimating your abilities can be as dangerous as trying to outsprint a cheetah. If you think you're the reincarnation of Bobby Jones after one good round, the golf gods are going to put you in for a reality check the size of your massive divot. Instead, try to stay humble and aware of your skill level. Recognize that golf is a humbling sport and even the best players have off days. Focus on continuous improvement rather than occasional success. Keeping statistics can help showcase your weaknesses and your strengths and what to practice so you can become confident in what you're strong at. You've collected more golf clubs than you have friends and you're convinced that buying the latest driver will finally cure your size, making your golf bag look like a high-end garage sale. Believing that new clubs will solve all your problems is like thinking a new kitchen will make you a Michelin star chef. While a quality set of clubs do matter, they won't magically transform you into the next Tiger Woods and they won't compensate for poor technique. Instead, invest in a club fitting session to ensure your club's mattress swing, spend more time on improving your skills than acquiring new talent. Your long drives might be the talk of the town, but your putting skills are more like a comedy show with missed two footers leaving your playing partners in stitches. Neglecting the short game is like baking the cake and skipping the frosting. You're missing the sweetest part. Putting, chipping and pitching are the icing on the golfing cake and overlooking them can lead to unnecessarily high scores. Instead, dedicate time to practice your short game. It's often the most critical aspect of scoring well in golf. Working on your putting, chipping and pitching, I promise you, will lead to lower scores. In fact, it accounts for 65 to 75 percent of the total score. You've read every golf swing theory book, applied all YouTube tips, 
tried every magazine article suggestion and now your swing resembles a Frankenstein creation, a mishmash of ideas that terrifies both you, your playing partners and your little golf ball. Constantly tinkering with your golf swing is like redecorating your house every week. It's unnecessary and can lead to chaos. While improvement is essential, chasing perfection in every aspect of your swing can leave you in a state of analysis paralysis. Instead, focus on making gradual, sustainable swing improvements. Consult with a golf coach who can provide personalized guidance. Avoid constantly changing your swing based on the latest fads as your motion is a DNA-based motion and no two swings are alike. <laughs> A bad tee shot on the first hole turns you into a golfing Shakespearean actor, delivering soliloquies about your tragic fate throughout the round. Golf is as much a mental game as a physical one. If you let frustrations and angers get the best of you after a bad shot, you'll end up a recurring character in the golf sitcom of your own making. Instead, develop mental resilience by staying calm and composed even after a bad shot. Practice visualization, relaxation techniques, and maintain a positive mindset to improve your mental gain, including going to a psychiatrist. We've all done this. Trying to clear a water hazard with a three wood when you can easily lay up with a short iron is like thinking you can win a sword fight with a butter knife. Golf is like chess on a grassy battlefield and if you lack strategic thinking you'll end up more like a pawn than a grandmaster. Making poor decisions on the course like attempting risky shots when it's unnecessary can result in disaster. Instead, think strategically in the golf course, make decisions based on your skill level and the situation at hand. When in doubt, choose safer options that minimize risks. You can only get this if you keep statistics on what you're strong and weak at and always play to your strengths. And lastly, you step onto the course believing that you'll shoot around better than the pros only to realize that your scorecard resembles a horror story with more bogeys than birdies. Believing that every round should be a highlight reel of spectacular shots is like expecting every meal to be a Michelin star dining experience. Golf involves up and downs and setting lofty expectations can lead to disappointment. Instead, set achievable goals for each round Understand that golf involves both triumphs and setbacks. Stay equal, don't get too upset and don't get too happy. Enjoy the round and celebrate personal improvement rather than perfection. Improving your golf game is a process that involves dedication, learning and willingness to adapt. By addressing these challenges with practical solutions, you can enhance your golfing experience and work towards becoming a better golfer over time. Let me know what you thought of this 10 list and let me know how you like those dad jokes. I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you next time. Fairies and Green.